Hey guys, welcome back to my next art book preview video. This week we have Star Wars art illustration. So quick look at the front and back there. You might be able to tell that this is a really big book and it's quite difficult to actually fit in on camera. So first of all, this is how this book starts. I was really excited when I opened this page. I just thought it was really cool. It has a ton of characters if you're a Star Wars nerd like me. And yeah, I just love big pieces that sort of, you know, include a lot of characters. I always think that's really cool. And I've just put something behind the book here just to lift it a little bit. So hopefully that stops the lighting just a little bit. So this is, of course, a selection of artwork from Star Wars, as you probably guessed. I think I would say the majority of this book is sort of from movies four to six, the original trilogy. Um, I'm personally a huge prequel fan. I know not everybody likes them, but for me, I absolutely love the prequels, film one to three. So it's a shame that there isn't more prequel art in here, but there's still a decent amount. And it ranges from full pages or even double page spreads like this to some smaller pieces, but overall, they're all pretty massive. And as mentioned, the book is absolutely huge. In fact, if I grab a ruler, you can see we're up to what, like above 30 centimeters, so probably like 13 inches by, I don't know, another 11 inches, 28 centimeters. So it is a massive book. I got this one really cheap and not only is it big, but it's like 180 pages. I will put links in the description box below to where you can buy this from. And one thing I wanted to stop on actually, I love this piece, but I couldn't figure out who this is. I don't know if I'm being daft, um, but if you know in the comments, let me know. You can tell a lot of it is fully sort of rendered, fully painted pieces. There's a lot of acrylics and oils, but there's also some sketches throughout. Each bit does actually have a section and wow, look at this, this is awesome. Um, but it has a section where it tells you who the artist is, I think when it was done, the year, the the materials. I don't think it really has much information. It maybe just tells you where it's from, which is cool. The books do cover a few different styles, art styles and you know ranges. But overall, I would definitely say it's more of a painterly, realistic style. Um, e even though, you know, it's a handful of artists, but they show on like repeated artists, or each artist usually seems to have a few different pieces, and they are really good. Um, I got the opportunity to buy this quite cheap, so I bought it without knowing much about it. Again, I love these kind of epic, lots of characters on a screen at a time kind of pages like this, which is full of amazing but yeah i sort of took a gamble on this without knowing much about it and honestly whilst there's some stuff in here that i'm not as bothered about there is some really cool stuff who doesn't love seeing more artwork of mace windu there is definitely not enough of that and even the original trilogy artwork like this in there even though i'm i'm still a big fan but not as much as the prequels but i i still think the artwork for that is incredible um yeah really really cool Again, showing some different styles here as well. You knew the gold bikini would have to make an appearance. So I am going to speed up and skip pages a little bit faster because I'm going quite slow for how big this book is. Um, when I read the reviews for this, I'm sure someone on Amazon said something like this is part of a three book series. And they mentioned Star Wars Visions. This one is Star Wars Illustration. Illustrations, I'm not sure. And what was the other one? In fact, it was the comic book art of Star Wars. And they mentioned in their review that this was definitely the best of the three. And I can imagine that because, yeah, I think it's awesome. There's some really funky stuff in here, but it, it's so well done. And a lot of it is traditional art as well. There's not much of it that's digital. So if you're a fan of, you know, acrylics and oils and stuff, um, I think you're really going to love this one. These ones I absolutely love. If you've watched my videos before, you know I'm really getting into like Art Nouveau style at the moment. And that's kind of what I would class these as. I think they're incredible. So some really strange concepts and some cool stuff throughout. Um, yeah, I, I would like to get those other books after seeing this one because I'm pretty blown away by it. But um, reading some reviews, I have a feeling that they might disappoint a little bit in comparison with this one. I also saw there is a Star Wars posters book, um, which might be my next purchase. I'm just trying to get hold of that at a good price. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about that one. Probably got a lot of like Drew Struzan, I think that's how you say his name, artwork, which, you know, 
if you've watched any sort of classic movies, you will definitely recognise some of his poster work. I think some of it actually shows throughout in this book as well. But there are so many different Star Wars art books now, um, you know, for each different series and things like that. I do have the art of the three prequel films, so Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. I really wanted to show those on camera actually, so let me know if you guys are interested. I don't know if any of you guys are Star Wars fans, um, but there are already book previews on other channels, so I never really bothered with that. Anyway guys, we are coming to the end of the video there. If you did enjoy this video, leave me a comment below. Let me know which Star Wars art books you guys have and recommend. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. And that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching.